So you really did kill your father? Ghosts never die. They, were, they asked me before to come back. They asked me in the last year and a half to come back. If I didn't die, it means I'm still working, right? And my damn checks don't got power on it no more. Damn. Welcome back Top Notch Gang to another video and we're basically in the power off season with this mid season break for Power Book 2 Ghost and with that you know the Ghost, the Amari Hardwick returning conversations they always start circling back up especially with this new interview clip we have of him, Trey Young and Matt Barnes talking about the character Ghost, talking about his death, him returning with the actual ending didn't go where it's supposed to, everything like that. So with this video i'm gonna do it for the power fans that believe he still can come back and i'm gonna do a side for the ones he's dead he's gone all of that i'm gonna point out all the clues from all the episodes interviews trailers promotions everything that could possibly showcase the return of ghosts in some way shape or form whether it's in book two ghosts whether it's in a future spinoff or even the spinoff of young ghosts and young tommy book origins that we know is coming in 2025 or 2026 so we're gonna break all that down and once again also for the fans who think he's not coming back there's scenes clips and everything that showcase that as well that i'm gonna put in this video so y'all gonna get the best of both worlds a few people are gonna be mad the title is a little clickbaity but i am pointing out all the new details and all the details we have seen prior but i will be doing both sides just to be fair without further ado you guys can leave a like comment subscribe let me know all your thoughts and opinions on ghost james st patrick down below if you believe he will return if not you guys can argue amongst each other in the comments but let's go ahead and get right into it now let's start with the reasons people believe he is coming back to clues and details of that because stars like to leave it open on a table for fans to get hyped up and excited especially every time something happens within a show that correlates to ghosts and i think they do that purposefully but we're going to talk about that more when i talk about him not coming back and his new interview first things first of course we got coming into this season the promo posters for tariq said like father like son and match the exact image of ghost from the original power so a lot of people thought this was hints and teases at that but a lot of people also could speculate that this is talking about what Tariq is saying throughout the show talking about he gotta use every part of ghost be just like his dad the good the bad the ugly all of it i realized to give it the fuck i want i gotta use all of the good parts of him the bad parts of him you know, my dad did a lot of dumb shit that i never agree with but I got a lot of them in me. So that's why it's like father like son people are realizing that now but going into the season people thought this was teasing the possibility of him returning as well as this season with him getting name dropped so many times we saw with don carter Tariq st patrick son of james st patrick one of new york city's biggest pieces of shit and you smell just like him i don't know what you have in your mind about my father but whatever that is that has nothing to do with me. We also saw it with Zion. My men know better than to pull a black and like you just did. Thought you would too. Give me who your father was. Respectfully, you don't know who my father was. I knew you knew how to solve a problem before it became a problem. I find it funny you went and got a white boy just like Ghost did. Tell me something. He was crazy as Tommy. So a lot of people was like, okay, they're hyping him up. They're mentioning him a lot. Something's coming down the pipeline. Anytime they connect all these new characters that we received to ghost, people look back on the original power and try to make connections from there. But there's so many questions that could be answered and explained that they just don't do. For example, Carter, how he knows Paz. He said he was going to go after Tariq for her. Paz, of course, connects back to Junior and Angela. Angela connects back to Ghost and basically don carter knows james was really ghost so we don't know how he knows that for sure we don't know how he knows pies we're all guessing it's just them grieving over their losses and coming together in church but it could be anything they just don't explain and once again the same with zion how he knows ghost's real identity because not just anyone knew that ghost went out his way to make sure not everyone just knew his alias he even had a season where he took out everyone who 
saw his face who knew who he was just to protect himself so things like that they could do a better job explaining and when his name is mentioned a lot of people expect it to connect back to the original power just like mecca of course mecca used to work for lobos he knew about ghosts tommy all of that what about your uncle tommy i know about your dad ghost i even know what you did to that motherfucker and he even thanked him for taking out Lobos, basically say he's the only reason he is alive. The highest bidder at that time was a man named Lobos. See, I sold him to the feds for my freedom, Drake. Someone was gracious enough to kill that motherfucker before he had a chance to do that. You see your father in hell? You tell him Dante said good looking out. So a lot of people like to make these connections in hopes that Ghost is still somewhere pulling the strings basically and knows what's going on with Tariq. That he's connecting to these other people that know him as well. Because the writers have so much they still could explain that they just aren't doing. It's going to come full circle when Ghost comes back into the picture and he was orchestrating everything. And they believe this because of more clips we've seen. Of course, the one I played at the beginning, Tariq saying, and ghosts never die. So you really did kill your father? Ghosts never die. Also, of course, the clip of Omari Harwick, probably like a year or two old at this point, I don't even know, where he says he was offered to come back. They, were, they asked me before to come back. They asked me in the last year and a half to come back. So people held on to this. They want to believe that he would only be offered to come back if it was because he was alive. And people think everything that has happened this far up to this point, Ghost had a hand in and he was well prepared for all of it. They also believe this because he sent a letter to Tariq in jail when he got arrested. I knew you'd end up here, little nigga. Right where you belong. So people just think Ghost is 5,000 steps ahead. He knows everything that's going on and he's definitely still alive. Now, once again, to be fair, we got to get into the pessimists. The people who think Ghost is just dead, not coming back. He, he's dead, like no, nothing else around it. Now, first off, we got to point out the clip, of course, of Tariq back at Truth. A lot of people thought that Ghost was going to pop up, return in this scene, but because of the symbolism with Ghost standing in the exact same spot, of course, that didn't happen. We know this was Tariq's hallucination, but of course, we did get a lot of parallels from the Tariq shooting and the ghost shooting with Tariq standing in front of his son like Ghost was standing in front of him and telling him if he do this he could never go back do the shit you can never go back Tariq if you do this shit you can never go back also the fact that Tariq's son said the opposite of what Tariq told Ghost. Tariq told Ghost you're in the way of my future while Tariq's son told him I'm in the way of your future you're in the way in the way of my future like you said he was in the way of yours i'm in the way of your future right basically telling him the reverse that Tariq is valuing the game over his family so that's something interesting to point out the parallels with that situation but also now that we got the scene in the episode we just know that Ghost didn't return there then we got just a simple clip Michael Rainey Jr he said it on Instagram live I don't know how long ago this was he said it Ghost is dead this show not fake it's not none of that that nigga is not coming back I keep asking me if Ghost will come back the nigga died <laughs> like, <nigga died. laughs> like I don't understand y'all niggas think this is some like fake show where niggas coming back from the dead I was just like this is this is this is this is this is power all of that brings us to this new Omari Harwick interview that has just been leaked. I'm pretty sure it's going to be officially released with Matt Barnes and Trey Young. In the clips we've seen, he's talking about ghosts and my checks don't say power no more, basically. If I didn't die, it means I'm still working, right? And my damn checks don't got power on it no more. Damn. He said, if I didn't die, I would still be working. And people are taking this as confirmation. He's not coming back. He's also talking about diving into like the story wasn't told the way he was told it was going to play out. I'm with you in the sense that the way the story was sold and told to me is not befitting of the way it ended, guys. He also mentioned this on, I think, the Pivot podcast before that this is not the ending he saw for his character. I envision, and I shared it with, with Courtney as well as with Joseph, seeing all of the options to be bigger and to be everything he wanted to be. What makes him so addictive is that we all can relate to someone so grounded, they never get too big for their britches. Tommy is that. 
Mm -hmm. You started with Tommy. So he gets caught up in some shit. What I envisioned was me having to go give a life for a life. And I think I ain't gonna lie about this time. He's probably definitely tired of the question. So I think at this point, I don't want to say he confirmed it, but he basically did. Like there's no way around it. My checks don't say power no more. It gets no clearer than that. He says he feels empathy for the fans because they didn't get everything they wanted out of his character or what could have been with his character and the story going forward. But that brings me to me talking about him still showing up in some way, shape or form. And I think it's going to happen with Power Book Origins. Now, Book Origins, once again, Again, it's the spinoff of Young Ghost, Young Tommy. We're possibly gonna see their come up. I believe then it's gonna connect and combine what Raising Canaan. Once that show is done, we could get into a whole nother video breaking that down. But focused on Book Origins, I think Omari Harwick possibly could be the narrator for Ghost's story, just like 50 Cent is for Young Canaan in Raising Canaan. I think it makes a lot of sense to bring him back in that way, talk about his thoughts, because we know how his story ends just like we know how Kanan's story ended but still having his thoughts and opinions inputs of why he was doing the things he did how he felt in those moments I think it makes the most sense in that case and with Power Book Origins probably gonna be one of the bigger spinoffs in my opinion just because it's about Young Ghost and Tommy this is just another way to add on it so I think this is the route they're gonna take if they were to introduce him back into power in any way shape or form it's the clean this way they could do it it makes the most sense i ain't gonna say everybody happy because some people want to see him come back actually as ghost uh, adult but at this point we might have to give up overall that's it for this video you guys can leave all your thoughts and opinions on everything down below i told both sides people shouldn't even be mad about this maybe the title a little clickbaity but you guys could think what you want i tried to find every scene where he was mentioned well not everyone everyone that actually has clues and details that could tie into his backstory at the very least i tried to go find those also i, I pulled up interviews podcasts whatever so i think you guys probably will enjoy this one and i'm interested to see you guys fight down below in the comments if you ask me what i think i don't know if i believe he's alive or dead anymore i think i'm more so at the point that i just gave up on him ever coming back so to me he's just dead because the more you think he's gonna come back it seems like that's what you want to happen and that's what you're waiting for to happen you can't really enjoy what's currently going on within the show because you're waiting for that big moment that big reveal so i kind of put down the back burner just so i can focus on what actually has been shown and given to us the clues and details of that so i can make other future videos videos but as usual you guys can leave a like comment subscribe let me know what other videos you want to see in this power off season but i'm out